How tomato ketchup is made, the whole tomato ketchup process. It can be paired with almost any of our favorite food in order to add up some of that fresh tomato taste. It is best paired with your favorite fries, burgers, hot dogs, and more. But sometimes we tend to ask and wonder, how is it made? Hey guys, and welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you're new here, please click that subscribe button for more content just like this. For today's video, we'll dive deeper into how our favorite condiment, ketchup, is made. Ketchup is a tangy sauce seasoned from a fresh tomato, and throughout the years it has proved to be one of America's favorite condiments. Ketchup, also known as katsu, is popularly known to be a partner for fries, hot dogs, hamburgers, and even more. But ketchup can also be used to season certain dishes, to be a sauce for meatloaf, stews, beans, and many more. This tangy sauce known as ketchup originated from ancient China. It is first known to be a brine of pickled fish or shellfish called ke tiap. After this, the neighboring countries adopted this and created their version of ketchup by adding new herbs and spices while using the original fundamental ingredients. In the late 1600s, this is where the English came to the scene. English sailors then visited the harbors of Malaysia and Singapore and got their first taste to the popular sauce. And boy, they were very impressed. And so, they took some samples home and tried to do it using their own ingredients. They used different seasonings and ingredients such as mushrooms, nuts, oysters, and more. After a hundred years of experimenting with different ingredients, the Englishman finally discovered tomato ketchup after the main seaman returned from Mexico and Spain with seeds of an exotic fruit called tomato. Suddenly, it became popular and was used for different dishes, creating the ketchup that we know today. Now that you've learned where tomato ketchup came from, let's now dive in on how it's made. Preparing the tomatoes Usually, tomatoes are harvested within June and July. The fruit is then placed in a truck filled with water. After delivering it to the factory, the tomatoes inside will now be transported from the truck to a flume with the help of water. This method not only washes the tomatoes but also protects them from bruises and damages. The tomatoes are then sorted, washed, and chopped. After doing all that, the bad boys will now be pre-cooked inside a stainless steel vat. Stainless vats help in preserving and protecting tomatoes from bad bacteria. Pulping After chopping the freshly harvested tomatoes, they will be now pumped into pulping machines, which will separate the seeds, skin, and stems from the pulp. Then, the pulp and juice will pass on to screens and filters to further process them into ketchup. Cooking the juice and pulp will now go into cooking tanks or kettles that will be left to boil. Foaming may occur, but this will be prevented by an air compressor. Additional ingredients will be added, such as vinegar, sweeteners, salt, and other spices in a precise amount. The mixing process will go on for about 30 to 45 minutes with a moderate temperature to avoid overcooking. Finishing Once cooking, the mixture is complete the mixture will now pass through another set of filters and screens called finishers. It will filter away extra unnecessary fibers and particles for a smooth consistency. Then, the ketchup will now be placed in a holding tank for further processes. Removing excess air The ketchup should now go onto a process called de-aeration. It is the process of removing air to prevent bacteria buildup and discoloration. Excess air might also cause some air pockets and impede the closure process. Cooling After all the process, the ketchup should now be cooled down to prevent flavor loss due to stack burning. The ketchup bottles or containers will now be placed in cold water. Packaging Finally, the ketchup will now be labeled with all the information needed, including the ingredients, nutritional value, expiration date, and shelf life. The ketchup bottles will be inspected again before shipping it and making it available at supermarkets. This is how the ketchup, the sauce that we all love, is made. That's all for our video. Make sure to hit the like button and share it with your friends. Click the notification bell to keep you notified for more videos like this. We hope you liked it. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you on my next one.